All right, so we went junkin', found a bunch of cool stuff, and um, then we sat down at the computer, and we started to just, like, just, you know, just see what the words even look like and start to kern these things or just take a look at the shapes or how they stack or little opportunities of how these things can fit together. But that's all on the machine. That's all on the machine. There's a limit there because you're working with the typeface and how you can get weird with it. I mean, you can go an infinite number of ways, but there's something about jumping onto paper where things just get weird. And that's what we're doing here. So now I just want you to kind of like free yourself of the confines of Illustrator or a machine or sitting down to uh, uh, create something. Now, you know, we're standing up, we're out and, you know, we're, we're, we're using our hands and using pencils and paper and we're looking at things. We're, we're going analog for a second here, but there's a lot of gold to be found here. This is dangerous and exciting because this is where you can go all the way custom, where you own every single letter form. And you're taking, you know, this is a little coin purse here and we're gonna make another little Portland, Oregon coin purse. But we're taking that shape, you know, and you're actually gonna learn and live inside that shape here. And, you know, when this little graphic we're gonna work with here gets scaled down later on and goes on this thing, you know, you're living and sketching inside that shape now. And that's what we're gonna do now. We're just gonna see if we can't slam a, and make a weird little Portland, Oregon right inside there. So let's just try that. Now, there's a couple ways of doing this. Now, just to, to, you know, to go and just write the word Portland, Oregon, and take a look at all the characters. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You've got eight characters there. One, two, three, four, five, six in the Oregon. So the idea is you've got these eight things to work with stacked over six. And the math there is pretty nice. So that said, even just by taking port, land, and then or, Don, you know, I mean, the idea is you can have these big hyphens. You're just seeing how things stack. You're just sort of learning what the characters you have to work with uh, look like and feel like and how they're going to kind of work together, the relationships you can get from them. So just quickly saying, all right, if this thing's going to be a coin purse, and here is this coin purse, you can kind of start by just making, I mean, I'm just going to get weird here. We're going to take a P, you know, and you're looking at, like, how that thing sh fills that space, right? Ooh, see, it's already happening. You're just, you're, you're using this little space and you're getting weird here. Like, what does that little space do right there? I don't know, maybe that T comes down, you know, and you're starting to go, you're already starting to jump in here and you know, like, let's leave a little space for a cool little mountain vista or something. I can just quickly sketch some little neat thing here because here we are in the city, you can see the mountains and we do this little Oregon right here and we're looking for opportunities. You know, that might just even be enough right there, you know? So we did this one quick sketch real fast. And the thing is, is like, you know, there's so many, I mean, that's just so fast. That's the first thing I did. There's a million ways you can do this stuff, but what you can do is go grab, I know it's weird, but you grab tracing paper and jump over this thing and quickly, quickly, just kind of go over it again and see what you can't find there, you know? And you can start looking at how these, the relationships sort of quickly change. Or yet again, take this thing and say, all right, just flip this over this one right here and see where you can like kind of fudge things in cool ways. So you could say, well, the P can do this. The O can do something cool like this. The R can go a little bit longer and connect and be a little bed for that T. The L can come underneath this thing here. And all we're doing here is we're just finding cool ways to make that Portland thing, right? You know, the, the idea is if I take a, a quick iPhone snapshot of this thing, drag it into my Illustrator, you're going to start seeing stuff come together when you start to recreate this stuff. This was just that quick. So, you know, this O, this dropped O right here is a little weird, so let's just try it. We'll try it another little way. Now, I like what's kind of happening over here. I mean, this is just a custom piece of type just that quick. I like what's happening over there. But what if we take this thing, we lay this thing over this thing, you know, and we say, all right, all right, you know, let's, let's, this is a little weird how this thing connects. It's kind of nice, but we can go quickly make a change by saying, all right, here is that cool D. So we have its own D. This thing hooks back around off of that T, you got that cool R. We're gonna nestle the O inside this thing. We're gonna bring this P. And 
you can see here you're starting to like get some weird little characters and little relations. You're, you're discovering things just that quick. Because here's what I want to say is like, you know, once you start getting to a point where like this is just a quick sketch, but once you start getting this thing, and this is just with quick tracing paper, just by this, by just, you know, that was a real fast thing. But if I just for one little second now slow myself down and say, all right, you know, there's some cool stuff happening here. And let's just get these shapes in here. You start to see where that thing is becoming its own little piece. This was something I was digging in around here. Tulsa's Stereo Country. What's great about it is look at that little K95, where it's a little K with this bigger 95, you know, and it's just that little tiny thing where it's going along there makes that dynamic, you know, and it, I mean, it could have all been big, big K95 and a little FM and still work, but there's just that little tiny thing that makes that 95 jump out that much more. So, you know, here saying, okay, we want the same thing kind of happening here with our Portland, you know, it's like st seeing this thing and saying, all right, well then the P should be a little bit larger, just be a little bit larger. And then you work your way and say, all right, Now, there's no reason it has to go all the way to that piece. It could just come down here and do some little weird little stacking thing or something, right? Now, when you look at this, you go, damn, that little N is pretty cool like this. But an N doesn't have to do this. An N can do this. So that little error right there, I'm going to harness that thing and say, all right, that N, we're using that N somewhere in this thing. That's a pretty cool little N, right? Because then it allows you to, okay, look at the A that can come off of that thing. So that little N now becomes, here's this little cool little A that can become this other little piece over here that just mimics that N. So you can see, you know, here is that A and that N. And as you start to work your way back, that little L... So something's happening here, right? Something cool is happening here. So now we can kind of say, all right, all right, all right. Before we go, we're, we're running out of space here. You know, let's go work on that little D. Now that land is, is starting to look pretty sweet. So, okay, here's some little, you know, <laughs> you know, it's infinite. By laying this thing over this thing this just this quick and saying, all right, There's a pretty cool little land right there, just that quick. This is going to be faster here than it ever would be on the computer. So okay, let's 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 mess with these little ends again. We've just done a little bit of sketching here for, what, 20 minutes or something, 15 minutes. And, you know, instantly what you're starting to see is you're starting to see these little things. This is just a sketch. So if something isn't quite working in there, it's just a fast sketch. But the thing is, is your hand is that much more free on paper. Okay, here's a crucial part. Because it's one thing to make the sketch. How do you get that thing into your document? Well, here, I'm going to take a quick little snap here. And now airdrop or email those over to my machine. And then I can bring those things, do a quick screen grab, bring those things into my Illustrator document, put them on a different layer, and start building these things over the original sketch. So that's how I use my phone as a tool to get it from sketch into the Illustrator. Go.